this style is new for me and it might be new for anybody because I've never seen it done this way before. But since I love charcoal drawing so much, just drawing with charcoal pencil on paper with that rich black and feeling the pencil on the paper cannot be replaced by a stylus in a computer. So that's the first thing. So I got to do that. I got to draw the images of Henry and his world in charcoal, just black and white, and then scanning it into the computer. And then once it's in the computer, can you see that? Mm -hmm. I can add all the colors digitally in layers. And I could try a million different ways of doing it. I could change the color of the shirt. I could change the color of the dog. When it comes to the color, you can do it a million ways without messing it up. Whereas when I was using watercolor, you just get one shot at it. And if you make a mistake, you can't fix it. You have to start all over again. So I think the best thing about using Photoshop and digital is that you can do more experiment you can use colors you don't normally use and you can change it and fix it. And I like the flexibility, which I never had using watercolor paint before. And I know that I saw on the blog too, um, you have kind of some clay models of, of <laughs> and so that was really interesting. Do you create those yourself as well? I, I do. I make the little models for the heads and the faces. So every time you draw that character, he looks the same. You can't just make it up out of your head what a person looks like from this side and what it looks like from the first and from the back. And I'm not the, a lot of illustrators do this. I mean, believe me. And this way I have the head, he's about, he's about this big <laughs> and I could photograph him at all different angles. And I use those photographs to copy the illustrations when I'm drawing Henry in charcoal, I can draw him exactly like the photographs and the head that I built of him. <laughs> 